What is going on YouTube? Hey, Mac making another brand new Crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Specifically, in today's episode, we are going to continue from where we left off yesterday in regards to the possibilities of seeing XRP continue to scale up even higher since we have finally closed a daily candle above a major, and I mean major, resistance level, which we'll get into a little bit more in today's video, but you can kind of see it right here. The beautiful, you can see daily and even a four-hour or some somewhat of a symmetrical triangle or just an ascending triangle for that matter. We just recently broke bullish here, closing above this major downtrend of resistance. So that is really good news for the uh, for the XRP charts here. We're also gonna be looking at Ethereum and some of these other cryptocurrencies. There's a small, and I mean very small, short-term play uh, for our trade on Ethereum, which is most likely going to be something like this here, a small rally to the upside here, filling in the gap here, but continuing the symmetrical triangle, higher, low, lower, or high pattern here, which has allowed us to pretty much uh, continue to play out. We're probably going to continue to fill in this gap here until probably mid-October here. So probably just another maybe four or five days, maybe another week. Uh, but there's a good chance we'll be able to leverage this to the upside here now that we've bounced off bottom support. So we are going to be talking about that a little bit more. We're also going to be looking at Bitcoin, which is now retesting a very critical point yet again on its uh, beautiful daily charts here. And then the S&P 500, which is obviously closed for today, uh, but should be open tomorrow and hopefully fingers crossed that we can start to see next week allow us to get back inside the channel that we were trading in for just a few days uh, over the uh, past couple of days last week. So I am excited to see how exactly all of this stuff decides to play out. Also, for uh, I just wanted to update you guys for the person that won the giveaway. I just I just felt like this would be easier if you're watching today's video. Uh, for the crypto coin display, I just want to let you know they might be slightly delayed on shipping this only because they, uh, you know, 3D print. Everyone is unique and they 3D print each one for order so because i just ordered it and then a few days after i ordered it we did get hit by uh the her by hurricane ian they are a florida-based company so they are going to take a little bit longer just to make sure everything comes back because in order to use the 3d printers they need power and they were out of power and internet so they were not able to print it um, so there might be a small delay they've probably reached out um, but if not i just wanted to update you guys and for anybody that has decided to order one of these with the link down in the description just give them a few days to catch up because of the delay in regards to them losing power. So I just wanted to update you guys about that. With all that being said, though, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's dive into today's episode. So guys, as you can see, top 10 cryptocurrencies, everything is pretty much consolidating today. We're only up about 0.05%. So really nothing, nothing is moving at all. And you can see for the most part, all the major cryptocurrencies are pretty much flatlined out, except for, uh, well, actually, they're all flatlined out at, at about 0% all across the board. But XRP, is up 12.57%, the only crypto that's really up in double digits at all over the past week, which is pretty incredible here. One of these underrated coins that we know that we've been watching for quite some time now because of the undervalued situation that XRP has. Now, in regards to possibilities of a trade here, definitely XRP and really Ethereum is probably the best winner overall for uh, today's video in regards to a good trade coming here. You guys can see for the XRP charts that there is this higher low pattern forming here on the uh, XRP. XRP for hour. I just wanted to draw it for you guys. You can see in regards to how we've been moving here, I just want to draw this pattern out so you guys can see the movement here. The bottom was at 33 cents. Top is at 50. Then we go down to 42 cents and the top is at 49. Bottom again at 44 cents. Top is at 48. So you can see kind of this funneling pattern into this area right here. And then a decision is going to have to be made. We broke bullish, closed above a major downtrend and major resistance level right here, and then actually spiraled to the upside, which is definitely a good sign. The only problem is that we are nearing overbought on the four hour as well as I believe on the daily here. You can see yes on the daily as well, which is a sign of possible correction back to the downside. However, even if we do correct a little bit lower, there is still opportunity for us to buy in uh, and see a run to the upside because we could fall and use now what was a resistance for a very long time. You can see in the, pretty much the history of XRP here, there was a major, major, major resistance. All of this, just these problem zones here where we retest and break bearish here. There is this possibility that we could spy a little bit lower and also keep in mind on the daily here we have had candles in the past close us above here so it's a little worrisome to be buying in and longing xrp like a crazy long obviously short term is definitely a big possibility and we've updated everybody on patreon about that so for those that are interested my patreon is linked down in the description if you were interested in getting all of my trades obviously we don't post every single day every other hour because 
We're a conservative channel and we're not trying to post our own trades that we wouldn't make. Uh, you know, so we post trades that we make and, uh, you know, we don't want to go crazy and, you know, kind of stray away from what we believe in, which is conservative style trades here. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but as you guys can see, there is a small possibility we can continue to rally up. I wouldn't, you know, buy in now. I personally wouldn't for this rally to the upside here. There is, you know, uh, we did enter a trade on XRP a while ago, a couple days ago for the small, you know, rally to the upside. And we are in a positive here. So keeping that stop loss tight in case we reverse downwards is totally fine. But I'd let this play out a little bit longer just to kind of see where exactly we go. You know, if we can stray up a little bit higher here, maybe close the weekly above here, then we might be in for a different story here because you can see on the weekly for the way XRP has been trading, we've actually had candles wick us above here numerous occasions here, but then we tend to close below it. So if we let this play out and if we can close a weekly above it, even if we close next week, like that would be the biggest determination this upcoming week. If we can close XRP above here with a weekly candle above, then we've pretty much guaranteed uh, a potential rally to the upside here because we've closed with certainty above that major resistance level. Now, now, in regards to what is a good trade coming up soon, it's what I would consider Ethereum. Now, this is definitely a more risky trade only because we're trading on the four hour and not the daily charts here. But you guys can see, similar to what XRP had, there is this symmetrical triangle forming here. And there are higher low patterns that have, you know, stemmed here. And you can see consistently, you know, let's do the top. You know, first top resistance, the first higher low is at 1400. Then we had 1390. Then we had 1376. Then we had 1370. And you can see bottom support. Support was 1269, then 1271, and then 1284, and now we're at 1307. So you can see the higher lows that are forming and the lower highs that are consistently forming here. And as we confirmed with three confirmations, typically when we bounce off this bottom support, we reverse up. It's a consistent pattern here. When we bottom off, we reverse up. You can see we just did the same thing for the fourth bottom. So ideally, because we retested uh, near oversold at $28 on the four hour charts, there's a good chance we would rally from $1,309 all the way up to probably 1360. So it's a small little run to the upside here. We've already managed to see a swing, but you can see we're already up about 1.4% with the opportunity of moving up to about 4%. It's a small trade. Obviously, it is higher risk here because we're trading inside a channel instead of filling out the gap here, waiting for the end, and then confirming a break either above or below. A much bigger volume trade with a lot less risk, but to keep up with our trades here, trading inside this channel, which I don't normally like to do, but it is a more aggressive trade. Uh, this is what we're looking for here to fill in that gap here, which is pretty predictable, I'd say, something like that. So we're looking for that as well. As for Bitcoin moving further, Bitcoin is looking interesting too. As you guys know, uh, XRP, we were showing the possibilities of a break outside of its major descending fractal here. It's a similar pattern on Bitcoin, which has had a major descending fractal as well. You can see right here consistently, higher lows, lower uh, lower lows here, descending fractal. And now we're coming once again to retest major resistance. You can see since the beginning here back in June of 20, uh, June 27th of 2022 here, major supports were found on the weekly here. And here we are again, retesting this. We're hoping that this is the lowest point we go to trying not to fall below it. And there's a good chance we aren't because we've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks now, almost two months of trending above this support, holding on for dear life. And here we are filling out the gap as we called, and here we are retesting major resistance. The goal here, fingers crossed, is we close above that. That's the goal, because if we can manage to close us, why does it do that? I want to click got it. Like, I don't want you to keep popping up. Let's see. Nope, still does it, whatever. Um, but the goal here is now that we filled in the gap, uh, you know, treaded all this, filled in the channel here, and we're now retesting major resistance. We're kind of running out of time here. We need to see how we're going to react with this major resistance. The goal, fingers crossed, obviously there's a trade to make regardless of the direction here, but is that we close the weekly above here. If we close at like 21000 or $22,000, we can confirm that a projected run all the way up to about thirty-five to thirty-eight k is coming, which is great. But if we break below here and we close a weekly at seventeen four or seventeen five, expect to see a pretty substantial drop down to 10k so we're either at 10k or like 38,000. there's a big influx in between so keep that in mind because it is coming and it's coming very soon for bitcoin here um, otherwise guys that's about it remember we do love to use bityard here on the channel it is the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that we like to use mainly because they offer xrp unlike many other cryptocurrency exchanges which is
is very cool. They even offer a demo account right here. Just click demo. How you get to that is by clicking derivatives, CFDs, and any of these right here. We'll get you, sorry, right here. We'll get you to the uh, live and demo account. Best part is they offer long, short positions, leverage. And when you do sign up with a link in the description, you can click mystery box to get some free crypto. Super cool. Make sure to check it out. With that being said, make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe. See you in tomorrow's video. Peace.